In today's world, most of the digital files we work with live on a hard drive, like on a Windows PC, in a Mac, on an external drive, in a flash drive, or maybe an email or a cloud system like Google Drive. While most of us might never have need of it, there's still times when a data CD or a data DVD comes in handy. In this video, I'll show you how to burn a data disk on your Mac for free using your compatible CD or DVD drive and a blank disk. Now, exactly why would you want to create a data disk today? Well, perhaps you've got a mix of files, photos, and documents that you want to share with someone physically, or you need a backup that's not dependent on an internet connection, or maybe you've heard that CDs and DVDs have a longer lifespan than hard drives and want another copy of your data, just in case. Before we get started, let's check a few Finder settings to be sure that Finder works the same way for you as it does for me. Click Finder on the dock, then click Finder in the menu, and then Settings. For older versions of macOS, it's Finder Preferences. On the General tab, ensure that CDs, DVDs, and iPods is checked, then close the Settings window. If necessary, click the Finder window, then in the menu bar, click View Show Status Bar, and then View Show Path Bar. If these options are turned on, then you won't see them in the menu. The status and path bars appear at the bottom of the Finder window. Status shows how many items are selected and how much space remains on the current drive. Path shows you the path to the folder that you're in. For example, you can see desktop, the path shows that it's located in the Macintosh HD in a folder called Users, in a folder for my username, and then a folder called Desktop. With these settings in place, we're ready to create a data CD or data DVD. What's the difference between a CD and a DVD? <laughs> Capacity. A blank CD can hold about 735 megabytes of data, whereas a single layer DVD can hold about 4.7 gigabytes. In other words, a DVD can hold almost six and a half times as much as a CD. Aside from this difference, the process to create either kind of data disk is exactly the same. Step one, insert a blank disk in your CD or DVD drive. I'll insert a blank CD. Your Mac detects the disk and displays a dialog box to ask you what to do. Click Action, choose Open Folder, and then click OK. You should see an untitled CD on your Mac's desktop. Step two, click Finder on the dock and open a Finder window. Step three, double click the untitled CD icon on the desktop to open a blank disk in its own Finder window. Now move the two windows so that they are side by side, which is how I like to work. I'll put the regular Finder window on the left and the untitled CD on the right. Notice that the blank CD has about 735 megabytes of storage space available. That's about three fourths of one gigabyte. And it's not a ton of space, but it's definitely more than you can send as an email attachment. If you scroll down the sidebar, you'll see a shortcut to the untitled CD that looks like a nuclear icon. You can always use this shortcut to look at what you're planning to put on the disk. I'm gonna use my left finder window to locate all the documents and files I wanna put on the disk. I'll use the right finder window as the place that collects the items I wish to burn. Step four, organize. I'm going to organize my blank disk by creating folders to contain each of the kinds of things I wanna store on the disk. Control click in the right window and choose new folder. Then name the folder. I'll name this one documents, now I'll create another new folder and name this one Photos. I'll open the Documents folder and then in my left Finder window, I'll click Documents and grab a few documents from my disk. Just drag them across to the right Finder window when you're ready. Next, I'll click the back arrow on my right Finder window, then I'll open the Photos folder. In my left Finder window, I'll click Pictures and select a few pics to bring across to the untitled CD. If you look closely, you'll see that the untitled CD doesn't yet have a copy of the files I put on it. Instead, each file is a shortcut that points back to the original location of the files I plan to burn. They'll get copied to the disk when I choose to burn. I can do that by either ejecting the disk or by clicking burn. Let's click burn. In the dialog box that appears, enter a name for the disk. I'll name this one Data. If you want to make multiple copies of the disk you're about to create, then check the box to Save Burn Folder To and name the burn folder. If you turn on this option, the folder will stick around for you to summon it in the future to use it to burn more copies of the same files. If you click Eject, the Mac makes a burn folder named Untitled CD so you don't lose your place you can open it and burn your disk later. Let's click burn. A burning disk dialog box appears to show the status. Once it's finished, a disk icon with the name you gave it appears on the desktop. Double click to open it and see the files are now in place. And that's it. You've successfully created a data disk on your Mac. If you'd like to see how to create a music CD, watch this video next. Drop your tech questions in the comments. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.